The matrix root gets its name from the matrix, the sea of buttons right here. Now, while it might look like the most complex aspect of this synthesizer, it's actually really simple. And that's the beauty of it. It's a very simple way to do very complex things. But we'll get to that. The way that the matrix is controlled is via these three buttons here at the top. There's the preset button, the sequence button, and the mod button. When the preset button has been depressed, it's gonna be pink, and all of the buttons you choose on the matrix will be pink. And each one of them is a preset, no matter what you push. So each of these represents a preset. And that's fantastic because the presets on here are really, really cool. You need to explore them. This last row of presets are basically blank defaults just set to a single sawtooth wave. And that's what I've been using as I've been demonstrating the synthesizer. So that's all there is to the preset section. You press preset and then you press one of these buttons and you've got a preset. It's really easy to remember where you're going and what you're doing because it's all graphically laid out. Now you can find presets by using the arrow keys up here, but it's a lot faster and simpler just to press a button. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the mod section. This is where you apply all of the potential modulation sources to all of the potential modulation destinations. Here along the left side, you can see all of the different modulation sources and the controls for those are over here in most cases. Along the top are all the destinations. We have the VCO related destinations, we have the filter related destinations and the assignable destinations, which we'll talk about later. And that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple process. All you have to do is choose your modulation source I'm going to choose LFO1 as my modulation source. Choose your modulation destination. I'm going to choose VCO2 pitch. And then decide your amount using this large knob up at the top, which gives you a numeric readout about your setting and lights to show you where you're at. Now, if we play this thing, we're gonna hear what happened to oscillator two because I applied LFO1 to it. That's all there is to it. Select your modulation source, select your modulation destination, make the connection by pressing the button and then set the amount. Now, that sounds so simple, but you have to keep in mind that for every modulation source that you have, you have a bunch of settings over here somewhere. And for every modulation destination you have, you have a bunch of settings over here somewhere. So even though it's a simple process, there are infinite possibilities in the way that the modulation is set up and the destination is set up and then the amount to which you apply the modulation to the destination. That is basically how the matrix works. <laughs>